In two to the power k design, the alias structure is very important. Uh, without knowing the alias structure, we cannot really um, see which what we are estimating whether we can really estimate something or not so you know, when we ever whenever we have a fractional design one half fraction or quarter design we always first thing we do is to write the alias structure so that we understand how um, which effect can be estimated which cannot now to create the alias structure properly first thing you have to do to know the entire factorial effects so in this case if you use six variables six factors then we need total 63 we have total 63 factorial effects so uh, we need to know all of these factorial effects before we create the alias structure now imagine that we are using a defining relation i is equal to b c um, a b c e and then another uh, defining relation typically when you have say quarter design you need two defining relations let's use that as a p and then another one used as a q defining relation b c d f now the generalized interaction of these two is also a defining relation because this is an identity this is an identity if we multiply identity and identity pq that's also another identity so pq if we multiply it, it's going to be A, D, E, F, B, C, E, B, C, D, F, and then if we multiply this to A, B square is an identity, so that's gone. C square is an identity, that's gone. So A, D, E, F. So these are the three uh, defining relation or design gener generator to use. Um, to make the uh, quarter design now for the factor a that is um, alias width if we separate a from here um, this um, a b c e then it's gonna be b c e so that is alias width uh, b c e and also we can separate it from the last one which is a d e f so it's going to be d e f so a is alias with b c e d e f is also alias with their generalized interaction or what we can do is we didn't use this um, other one uh, this one uh, to get the alias structure so what we can simply do is we can multiply this with a because this is an identity if we multiply with a that will be another identity so we're not changing anything so if we multiply a with q here this identity then we get a b c d f so this is the um, a um, a is alias with these three um, uh, factorial effects now we can do the b which we can separate from the uh, p identity then it's gonna be a c e and then we can also separate from the q identity then it's gonna be um, c c d f CDF and then we didn't use that PQ so what I'm gonna do is we multiply uh, B with this PQ so we get a B D E F like that so if we keep doing like that then we get um, B we get uh, C is equal to we can separate C from uh, P which is a B E and then also from the Q identity, which is B, D, F, and then um, we multiply C with the P, Q because we didn't use that P, Q identity. So A, C, D, E, F, that's what we get. If we keep doing um, like this, then we can get D, uh, let me pause the video and finish that, and I'll just come again. So I have created all of these um, um, 
factorial effects those are uh, aliased with the main effect a b c d e f and then i'm going to start with the uh, two way interaction so if we can separate simply a b uh, from that first identity key p which which is a b c e then it will be a b equal to c e and then uh, we can uh, just keep doing uh, that so a b equals c e then we didn't use this um, the other uh, identity so we can simply multiply this one with both of these to get um, another couple of piece other pieces that is alias with that so if we multiply uh, this q b c d f with a b so a square uh, b square is gone so i have a uh, c d f and then multiply the same q with this c e i get um, b c square gone d e f like that so i can simply keep doing like this and then i can separate um a c from that uh, this uh, key this p abc i can separate a c from there and then get uh, b e and then simply multiply q with both of these to get if i multiply b c d f with a c i will have a b c square gone d f is equal to b e times b c d f so b square gone i will have c d e f like that so if i keep doing that let me finish it pause it so here i have this uh, one um, the main effect in uh, alias with these uh, three factor interaction and also five factor interaction and we have also created this two way effect or two factor interaction alias with uh, four factor interactions and also the six six factor interactions now we know that there are total um, 63 um, factorial effects if we have six variables now we know six main effects uh, here you can see that uh, six main effect uh, six five-way interactions 15 two-way interaction and uh, 15 four-way interactions and then 23 way interaction so if we count that six one way interaction one uh, one way effect or main effect that is done and then we're gonna count these five ways so one two three four five six so i got six five way interaction so i'm with i'm done with one main effect i'm done with five way interaction and then uh, let's count that two way interaction so i got one pair here one two three four five six six pairs and then seven pairs and then another one here so seven times two fifteen plus one um, seven times two is fourteen plus one that's total fifteen so i already have fifteen two-way interaction so i had um, fifteen two-way interaction this is the number fifteen two-way interaction so i have that so fifteen two-way interaction i have that now three-way and four-way interactions I have to count that let's count the uh, uh, four-way interaction I will have another uh, 15 four-way interaction let's count see if we have four, 15 four-way interactions so four-way interaction I have one pair here 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 so total I have um, let's see uh, one two three four four five six so six pair six times two twelve so what are the other three i got 15 of those this is the other three the three defining relation is the other three so i got all 15 of four way interactions now i will have to check the three way interactions i got 20 of those so i got one pair three way here two three four five six so i got six pairs of three way interaction which is 12 i'm missing eight uh, of the three-way interactions so um, 
um, if I miss three of the um, eight of the three way interaction, I will have to just see which three I'm um, which eight I'm missing. So I have only here 12 three way interactions. So I can go back here and see these are my three way interaction A, B, C, A, B, D. So I can start with A, B, C and see if I have A, B, C. There I have A, B, C. So I'm good with A, B, C. The next one is A, B, D. That's, let's look for A, B, D. So ABD, 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 no ABD. So let's create one alias structure for ABD because I don't have ABD. So if I choose ABD and then multiply ABD with all these three identity. So if we multiply this first identity and ABD, that's going to be A square gone, B square gone. It's going to be C, D, E like that. And the second one Q, if we multiply Q times ABD, so a b square gone c d square gone uh, multiply a b d oh b square gone too so it's a c uh, s c f what i'm doing is i'm multiplying this b c d f times a b d so b square gone d square gone I'll have SCF equal to I'll multiply that ABD with this. So if I multiply ABD with the PQ, A square gone, D square gone, I'll have BEF. Then I look for the next one. So I'm done with that. Let's see BE. Do I have BE? -E? B -E. What is that? That actually should be a b e not so i'm looking for b which one i'm looking for a b e i'm looking for a b e a b e is there so that's good then the next one i'm looking for a b f let's see a b f is there a b f a b f I don't see ABF, so what I can do is I can simply use um, ABF. Um, I don't see ABF here, and then multiply this ABF with all of these three um, uh, identities. So multiply ABF with ABC, so that's gonna be CEF because A squared B squared gone, and then multiply ABF with Q, that's gonna be. A, B square gone, C, D, F square gone. And then multiply with the last one, A, D, E, F times A, B, F. So that's going to be A square gone, B, uh, D, E. I think that's it. Now if we count that we had total 12 uh, here three-way interaction and then I have eight here so that's 20 so I'm good I got all this stuff all 63 uh, factorial effects in this alias structure so it's a little bit complicated to um, create that but once you create that you don't have to change every single time it's you can use the same design also in any stat book in the appendix there are many designs there already have alias structure and is given so you could use any of those design to fit uh, one of your experiments uh, if you want to create one this is how you create it